Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. would you please stand at this time? a presentation of GRS TV. We set the ball high. On top, cause we so fly. Name in the bright lights. Looking like a star shot. We set the ball high. On top, cause we so fly. Name in the bright lights. Looking like a star shot. Just two weeks remaining in the regular season as the Garland Owls try and wrap up the final playoff spot in 9-6A on Senior Night. From Homer B. Johnson Stadium here in Garland, it's the Garland Owls taking on the South Garland Titans. Scott Garner alongside Bobby George, we're happy to have you along tonight. Garland has taken on some very tough competition over the last three weeks. The top two teams in the district in Wiley East and Saxe, they've stubbed their toes both times, but they still are in that fourth position, and they are poised for a playoff spot. They'll get it with a win tonight. Yeah, the two toughest teams, obviously, sometimes that happens to you. They did beat Naaman in between those two games uh, pretty handedly, and tonight, if they win this one, hey, they're in the playoffs. So all's fair in war and game. Here we go. Uh, fun Thursday night kickoff here at 7 o'clock. This Garland team comes into the ball game with an overall record of five and three. They are four and two, and they take on a Titans team that thought they would be better this year. They have been better in uh, this campaign, but defensively, they've really struggled as of late. Yeah, it's been tough for them this year. A young team, a growing team, and they've lost their quarterback, and now they're having to put it. They put out their best wide receiver as their quarterback. Raymond Franco, they've got him listed as wide receiver, defensive back, kicker. Now you add quarterback <laughs> to it. All around athlete. The guy is very good. We watched him play last week. Was an outstanding. He ran the ball. He threw the ball. Uh, Garland's going to have a tough time defending him. Tremendous pass catcher. Only two grabs this year. But again, as you mentioned, playing quarterback these days as a result of injury. Pedro Orozco will kick things off. For Garland, we get set for some Thursday night football tonight at Homer B. Johnson. Go in and out of the end zone, and that's where South Garland will start with their own 25-yard line. And the Titans will be lining up someone special tonight. Number 32 in Joshua Lane, who is a special ed student. Uh, at South Garland, and so we'll see what they what they elect to do here on this first play. Yeah, they see him right there. The coaches are surrounding him. The team surrounding him. Hey, a, a kid that they love to have out there with them all the time. Puts in the time with the team. Excited for him, his family, his friends, the whole school. This is a great, great way to end the season with this guy. And this is their last game. They have their bye week in week number ten. It's kind of odd. And here we go. They'll get everybody lined up. Get Josh Lane in the right spot here. Here's the snap. They hand it off. And there he goes. Here he goes off tackle. Go, buddy. He's got a chance. Go. He's going to make it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yes. And he spikes right. it. How about that? So South Garland gets oh, it kicked off right now. He's going to give a little dance oh, for us. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. A little shake. Get a handoff here. A del delay draw is what that was. Right <laughs> off left tackle. <laughs> got a rumble. Guys in front of him blocking. We got fouls by both teams. Those penalties offset. First down. Gives a little slam down. Uh, exciting. Love it. All right, way to go. Josh Lane with the touchdown. And uh, you heard in our, our crowd noise mic, our officials mic, Scott Davis saying that there were fouls on both teams. So uh, we'll 
line it up again from the 25 yard line and uh, South Garland will come out again they come out with a uh, record of 0 and 7 in district play but they did win two ball games to begin the year they beat RL Turner and beat Irving but this is a team that's much better on offense and we'll see them tonight and here's the first carry of the ball game uh, Smash play right up the middle for a, a gain of two for Rodrigo Romero, who comes in averaging over five yards per carry. Yeah, I mean, they feed it to him a lot. 88 attempts on the year, 370 yards, 4.2 average. Let's put it in the end zone three times. They will feed him a lot tonight. It's been good. You mentioned the, the four touchdowns, runs hard, hits the hole. We saw that on the very first play from scrimmage. They'll run a read option with him here. and. Quarterback will keep. You mentioned Ramon Franco having to play quarterback these days. Uh, he had nine catches against North as a wide receiver, but he's really versatile. He's their every every play guy. He plays defense, offense, everything, and uh, they do a lot of this RPO with him. And it really is it's catching the defense off guard. You've got to really play your assignments well to be able to maintain him. He's doing it really good with that RPO. Still only averaging 138 yards through the air. Franco pressured now late and down he goes. They grabbed him by the back of the jersey and got to him quickly. That's Gabriel Williams with his second sack. Yeah, 6'1", 250 pounds. He has plenty of times. The offensive line does a good job. Franco has to get rid of the ball. He's got to feel that pressure and just toss it away. He didn't have any offensive uh, uh, wide receivers open. Everybody was covered. He was trying to find the guys in the flat. The flat was just totally covered. Don't want to give it up. you got to throw it away, though. Ramon Franco has always punted since the word go this year. He'll drop back at his own five-yard line. Terrence Green back deep to receive. He's, He's going to run it. it. And run it. He's got a chance here. Across the 25, knocked out of bounds. The corner came up in a hurry and denied him any kind of shot at moving the sticks, but he read pressure and took off. Yeah, when, when you've got six or seven yards, that's different than 20. Uh, he would have got it if it was just a little bit less. You know, that sack is what cost him here. He just ran out of room and gets about two yards past the original line of scrimmage. Garland turns him over on downs there. And they will take over at the plus 28 yard line. Early opportunity for the Owls. They're going to win tonight, would lock up that fourth spot officially in 9 6 A. Quick pass into the right boundary. Route connecting on the first play. Good run after the catch, too, for Keelan Davis. He's really explosive after the catch. Yeah, Keelan Davis has really come on lately. 5'10, 150 pound junior. That's his 25th reception on the year, but the last three or four games, I mean, it's like Keelan Davis and uh, Route have got this connect going, and they are just tossing and catching quite often. Route again comes into the ball game, 101 of 161, 1,055 yards, first and 10, second play from scrimmage. Throw it short underneath. Ball is caught by Rodich. She's looking for the end zone, and he's got it. And he's got the touchdown. Touchdown for Garland right off the bat. Adam Rodich, the young sophomore. Yeah, this was a great patience play by Route. Watch him. His original throw was out to the, to the back of the end zone. He stays patient with it, finds Rodich, and Rodich, being just a sophomore, reaches out there, has the presence of mind to not just get into the end zone, but reach that ball way over the edge and touch that pylon to get the, get the touchdown. Didn't take long, just a couple of plays there for Garland. They've been throwing the ball a lot more this year. And it has been paying off almost 250 a game. And Scott Davis, the lead official, throws his flag. Full start, offense. Five yard penalty, replay the try. Yeah, they just had too many people trying to sub in right there at the very end. Uh, there's guys sitting over, kept running in from the 40 yard line trying to get into, into, the, uh, into the formation. Just didn't allow it. And the point after for the Owls is perfect. 
So Garland with a 7 nothing lead. 2-11 into the game on GRS TV. Off to a quick start tonight, Thursday night, over beat Johnson Stadium, a win would get them into the postseason officially. See Pedro Orozco kick off again, his first win in and out of the end zone. And this one again, Zaylin Reynolds will go ahead and watch it go in and out. So back to back touchbacks here for Orozco. But yeah, a win tonight would give Garland a five and two mark. They have the tiebreaker over Lakeview who's in fifth place so uh, even if Garland loses and Lakeview wins Garland would have to lose again and uh, Lakeview would have to win again in order for that to happen but yeah. uh, a win tonight would lock it up yeah Lakeview three and three they would have to win out and Garland would have to lose both these games I believe in order for that to happen but it's all in your own hands you know you got to go out there and play and you got to win the ball game so and for Ramon Franco and these Titans, it's really about executing every play. They don't go to the air as much as they have in the past without question because, they number one, they don't have their best wide receiver in Franco who's having to play quarterback here. He gets tackled at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Yeah, that's Carcamo, and you're going to see that guy all over the place. Watch him pursue that and just chase him down from behind. You'll see and call Carcamo's name all night long. What a great player he is. Probably the second fastest guy on this team. Does a really good job. Franco goes underneath, and that ball was almost intercepted uh, there by Onchuari. That would have been his first pick of the year. Third down and 10. Yeah, Franco does a good job. He feels the pressure this time, and he just goes ahead and tosses that one down to the ground. He knows it was double covered, triple covered. He just has to get rid of the ball. South Garland still has yet to complete a pass at this point. And you can see those safeties. They are getting down into the box. They'll roll the pocket. Franco looking to hit a guy deep. He does. Flores on the move into Owl territory inside the 40-yard line. Well, that's what you can do when you have a running quarterback. All of a sudden, he starts taking off from the outside right here. And when you do that, the linebackers, the corners, they release their man and come up. Franco keeps his eyes down the field and makes a beautiful throw right on the money to Flores. 22nd catch of the year for Mariano Flores. And on first and 10, they'll go to Romero. And Romero with a little running room this time. Missed his look tonight. Biggest hole he's had off left guard to get four. Yeah, that's what you're going to get right there. Good blocking up front. Creates a nice lane for him to get through. And linebacker has to come over and make the touchdown saving play right there. Now you're seeing Aiden on Schwerier. That's the guy who made that stop. He's still only 15 years old, just a sophomore. Had five tackles for a loss coming in. This is second and six. The ball was coming in hot there to Moreno, and it goes incomplete. Santiago Moreno it's time to throw it. Oh, it just hit him right in the hands and just bounced over. But what that long pass does as they roll him out is it will loosen up this Garland defense. You can see safeties and backers. They really started to cheat on that last third down. This is third down and six. Let's see if we can see the same type play here. Roll to the right. Bring in the house. Look Woo! out. I think Down that was on to where he again, Man. the sophomore. On Schwery, darting through there, nobody picked him up. Was like he knew the count. Just a beautiful 
solid tackle. Timed it perfect from the linebacker spot. He's playing that left linebacker. But man, he's got three, you know, a couple All more sides. years to play. Defense number 10. It's five yard penalty. Still third down. Wow. So the penalty will negate the sack. So no sack there for Onchwery, but man, is he quick. I don't know who I'm, I'm blocking, but I try to get that guy blocked. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Uh, he timed that one perfect. Third down and one, so this opens up some options. Rodrigo Romero again averaging 5.1 per carry. Had a four-yard run his last time. They line up Moreno as an H-back here. Got they it. give it to him. All he has to do uh -oh. is get one, but he got stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain here for Romero. Wow. I, I mean, that was kind of a – did he lose yards? It looked to me like he at least got past the line of – Yeah. You know, they just didn't call a very good spot right there. Well, it brings up a fourth down and two, and you're right. They've uh, He was very close to getting the 29-yard line, but it, it instead will have them needing to make two. They have rolled the pocket in these situations. The left oh, guard boy. moves, and they throw the flag on uh, Jeregi, who is the uh, left guard. Saul Jaraguay, number 71. Ball start. Offense number 71. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Well, that's tough. I mean, you, you think you're going to be able to get that first down because you were only a yard short. And now you're back to having to get seven yards for a first down. Fourth and seven now for the Titans. Look out. Pressure again. And again, the ball is through the hands of Moreno and almost picked off. Moreno has had two passes the last three plays that have gone right through his hands, and O'Shea Johnson almost had his third pick of the year. Yeah, that's just a great throw. I mean, that just right through his hands. I think he would have picked the first first down if he was able to pull that one in. And a lost opportunity right there for the Titans. The Titans have now turned it over on downs both times they've had the football here in the first five minutes. This gives Garland the ball back. This time from their own 35. It took them only two plays to score last time. Tall sweep out to the right. Big cutback lane. This is Hardy. Keeps his footing inside the 40. A huge run here, 28 yards. You know, he weighs 195 pounds. It's not real easy to pull him down. He'll just run right through some arm tackles. You see right there, there's one arm tackle. 31 gets an arm tackle. They're having to just chase him down. He doesn't want to go down right there. You have to gain tackle, tackle him to get him down. Yeah, and he's deceptive in terms of his speed as they go inside this time on a tunnel screen. Uh -oh. Nice move. Oh, Davis boy. inside the 10 to the 5 and a touchdown. Woo! Boy, nice job on the tunnel screen. Uh, Tyron Creathers, it looks like. What a great tunnel screen, good blocking. But watch this. He just starts juking people, gets them on their cutback, and strolls in. Man, what a great run after the catch. 38-yard touchdown. Routes to Creathers. Point after is perfect. 32 to play. Garland two for two tonight. They've got two touchdowns on two possessions on GRSTV. South Garland Colonels. 6.32 to go, 14-0 in favor of Garland. As we will see Orozco kick this off again. This will be his third kickoff in five and a half minutes. 
going to be a returnable from the three. Oh, he's got some room. Around the 15. McNeil across the 40 with a block. Oh. McNeil inside the 35. Shoved out of bounds inside the 25 yard line. Wow, what a spark. And they needed it. 76 yards on the kickoff return. Look at this. He just starts breaking contain and just outruns some players. Good block right there upfield for him. Runs out of room, but I tell you, that's the spark that the Titans needed. Boy, if they could score quickly here, make it a one possession game, you would have us a ball game again. 17 to go in this first quarter. Rodrigo keeping his footing inside the 20 yard line. Rodrigo Romero backing his way down for a gain of five. Yeah, they got up behind big number 77. Brandon Sierra just started moving. Watch this, this block right here. They just start containing, just push, 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 push. Pick up an additional four or five yards. Romero downhill runner, as we mentioned, got great vision. Uh, they will run him between the tackles, and he's tough. And as you mentioned, he's not that big. They put Moreno in motion. Oh, oh nice option, nice move for Franco inside the 10. Wow. Down to the five, his best jaunt, 13 yards. Well, that's that RPO again, just read it perfectly. If he hands this ball off, Romero's going to get stuck, but he just pulls it and takes off running and makes a great move. Sets him up first down on the five. The linebackers have been spread out ever since that 37-yard throw and catch to Flores earlier. First and goal for the six. This time the option is read nicely. And Franco lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage as he got taken down by Jeremy Carcamo that time with his 28th stop of the year. Again, he reads it good, though, because, boom, he gets hit. His running back gets hit, and he pulls it, takes off running. Carcamo makes the uh, saving touchdown tackle, uh, but not before they pick up two. Second and goal. And a flag coming in. Uh-oh. Ball start. Offense number 71. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Well, that's, that happened to them on their last drive where they had fourth and one. They backed them up. These are valuable possessions here. Every yard counts. Second personal foul on Saul Jaraguay, the left guard here for the Titans. Second down and goal. And Rodrigo Romero this time taken down in the backfield. Yeah, Carcamo again just there on the money. Just reading the play so well. He's able to shed the block of just J Jesus Barron and just come right through there on him. And Caleb Carcamo regarded as probably one of the top three or four linebackers in the district. This is third and goal. They're going to throw it. it to the end zone in double coverage. Ball is swatted at and almost picked off. I thought for a moment they might intercept that ball. That was Ebenwe, Josh Ebenwe, the backup safety. They read it pretty good. See them taking their steps back, sees the run, the receiver, reaches over with the right hand. Oh, just textbook defensive play right there. Trying to hit Diego Tenorio. This will be a 30 yard attempt. They're going to line up a field goal for the do it all Franco. Yeah, Franco's a left handed kicker, left footed kicker here. Pressure, and he yanked it. Not close. And I don't know if that ball might have been partially blocked, but there was big time pressure off the edge. Holding on field goal attempt, Mariano Flores. Ball goes over to the Owls. So the missed 30 yard field goal by Franco. Let's see if it gets tipped here. Oh, yeah, I think so. Been redirected right there by O'Shea Johnson. He's a track guy. Yeah, they Just say he's safety. the fastest player on the team. He's all district. He's a captain tonight. 
Big you time see, playmaker. Yeah, you can see why. He's out there making big plays. 20 yard line is the line of scrimmage. 354 to go. And route again underneath as they exploit the second level. This is Norwood, their best wide receiver, getting close to the 45 yard line and a gain of 24 yards. Yeah, same play as we saw on the touchdown earlier to the left side. They just run the same play to the right side. Norwood takes it this time. He has to get gang tackled right there. Interesting, Norwood actually played quarterback for him. There's a toss sweep to Hardy. Hardy uh -oh. not even touched. He's in the third level to the sideline and gets tripped up almost by Jakeas Green, the cornerback. But another chunk play, 14 more. Just a little pitch out. It spreads the defense out, you know, and it creates nice running lanes. Jaquias Green on the tackle forces him out of bounds. Stop right and time. down he goes. He had the stop, did not throw it. Big time pressure that time. And Jariah Kaufman was the first guy there, the freshman. Big play, man. You're a freshman coming out there and making things happen. A little timing blitz right up the middle. Doesn't let go, uses his strong hands. Hey, you're a freshman out there playing big seniors. How about Damaso Martinez? Not afraid to go to the young players here to get his defense yeah, some seasoning. I like it. You know, the Titans are really young anyway. Counter, nice job of forcing him back inside there by LeBron Green, who is a junior, and they only get two yards. They they set a hard edge, and everybody rallies. Yeah, Sinclair Del Real gets out there first and puts the stop on him. Right there, here we go, big time, right there, and then, that, then everybody else can get to him. You make a play like that, it only takes just a half a second, and you have the rest of the team coming in and helping you out. So after the sack, South Garland now has forced the third and long. Third and 15. Lando route. Yeah, that's going to be the receivers lined up over the line of scrimmage there. Offense number 19. Five yard penalty. Still third down. I saw the receiver asking the referee, am I lined up okay? Am I lined up okay? The referee kept pushing his hand to the right saying no. Uh, but I, I don't think he understood what that meant. And then as soon as the ball was snapped, the flag comes out. And he's checking again with a head linesman. That's Parrish Cooper, third down, close to 20. Route to the sideline. Ooh, that is a beautiful comeback. Nice catch by Keelan Davis. They'll pick up close to 10. It'll be fourth down and nine here for Garland. Yeah, Keelan Davis just runs a, a 10 yard like he's going deep. And then he just stops right on a dime and turns to the outside, gives Route a beautiful target, shows his uh, numbers to him, and, and just goes up and reaches out. Great catch and throw. Still leaves him pretty short because of the big penalty. Pedro Orozco will kick. Nobody is back deep to receive for the Titans. They have everybody up. That's interesting, yeah. I guess they're expecting ah, a fake, they and were they get smart. It. And nice move to the outside here by Reynolds. Reynolds close to picking up first down yardage. Needed nine. It looks like he only got about seven or eight. It'll be a turnover on downs. The Titans have forced the TOD. Del Real hits him first, slows him down, and then you can see the whole group of guys coming after him. Big plays there by Wilkerson and, and Green. All of those guys out there and force the turnover on downs. Good job defensively right there. I thought it was an odd part of the field to punt. Yeah, for and sure. Might you know, as well go for it, right? And you're up 14 nothing. Yeah. South Garland has done scant on offense so far. Stop route to the edge, and it goes through the hands of Jordan Hogg who came in with five grabs as a senior. I, I'm telling you, Raymond Franco is putting the ball on his receivers. They've just had the dropsy so far today. That one goes right through his hands as well. Second down, 10 now for South Garland. Late first quarter, 
Franco jumps on the ah, fake. He's going to take off. It. Gets a block downfield and is forced out of bounds. Wow. Nice job, Joseph Rodriguez blocking out there on the edge. Watch this. There you go. Oh, nope, I'm taking off. <laughs> Gave the MO whoopsie doopsie. You get some good blocking out there by his wide receivers. That was Hogg making a great block. Picking up a first down here. Gave him 13 on that last run. And Ramon Franco looking good out there with not a whole lot of time with which to throw. He's got time, probably the most all night. And this time that pass over the middle is knocked down by Zalen Reynolds. You can see that Franco, if he had more time throughout the season, because look at he's keeping his eyes down the field, even when he's rolling out, and he's just, you know, if he had if he had more time to have played the position all season long, you could see how good he could have been. Brandon Sierra, big number 77, that junior right tackle doing a really good job on the edge. Garland rushing just three because they're getting such immense pressure and covering with eight, which makes it doubly tough on Franco. Second down at 10, delay draw. Some room here for Romero, a flag coming in. Two, in fact. Jervis Roberts on the tackle there. Personal foul. Face mask. Uh -oh. Number 33 of the defense. It's 15 yards from the end of the run and an automatic first down. Big 15 yarder right here. Really like how Romero runs. Oh yeah, you see 33, he just grabbed his face mask. Turned his helmet around. And like a lot of basketball coaches teach, you want to play through the contact, not expecting a foul at the rim. You have to finish. Even though he got grabbed of the face mask, Romero able to finish that run right there. Yeah, very nice. And that's the second time we've seen right in a row South Garland get inside Garland's territory. Keeping the ball. This will be the fifth play of this drive already that began at their own 31. They're only down by 14. Romero trying to squeeze through the first two or three guys that first wave, but boy, those boys down low are big and they are strong. Christian Calhoun this time, the junior in. 225 pounds, man. He is just making work down there. Set up a two yard loss. You got Christian Calhoun and Cade McKay, Gabriel Williams, Torrey James playing in, rotating in there. It does it for the first 12 minutes here at Homer B. Johnson. Garland's got a 14 0 lead over South tonight at Homer B. Johnson Stadium. The Owls trying to lock up playoff spot number four in 9 6 A on GRS TV. Second quarter, senior night here at Homer B. Johnson Stadium, South Garland, locking heads with the Garland Owls. 14 nothing. Garland scoring a touchdown in their first two possessions tonight. And then South came out and stopped them on their third on a turnover on downs. This is second down and 11. And before the snap, timeout. whistles. Garland, hmm. their first charge timeout of the half. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty interesting since you just had an official timeout to change the quarter. And I guess they just figured they were in the wrong lineup. Boy, they had to burn, a, burn one right there. They did, you know, when you come out in a game like this, and obviously you've done what you've needed to do to get in position to lock up a playoff position. and. Uh, you know, you score on your first two drives, but we've, we've seen some mistakes made by Garland. And you know that Danny Russell, who's been a mainstay here for this Owl team, uh, wants to iron out any potential mistakes uh, going into postseason play here in a couple of weeks. Potentially. Yeah, the defense coordinator Kelvin Perry must have seen something, and he didn't like it. 
and uh, he was uh, going to call that timeout. I yeah, don't know if that was an alignment issue or a personnel issue. Second and 11, regardless. Marlin now with two timeouts. Man in motion. Timing was off right there. Franco on that fly sweep potentially just kept it and ran up the middle for four. Yeah, Hector Pilatus, though, he realizes that he's the big offensive line. He realized what's happening. Watch him. He just starts pushing people. And that gets you an extra four yards. That would have been a loss of down if he wasn't able to do that. That's Brandon Sierra down, and we were just bragging on him a little bit ago earlier on the drive because of his pass protection. He plays with such great leverage out of that right tackle spot. 6'4", 300-pound junior. It's a guy that's a big baseball player. He's got great footwork, a first baseman type. And uh, you don't want to see him down. I know the baseball coach doesn't want to see him down. These two sport athletes, man, it's just, it's amazing how they can just switch from one sport to the other while other players, you know, the one sports, they're, they're, they're playing that full one all year long. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you got these guys, they're, they're spending all their eight hours a day playing football. And have you, have you gotten caught? Have you gone down that rabbit hole on Twitter or some other social media where some will argue for two sport athletes, others say, no, it's not, it's not worth it. Have you, have you been down? Yeah, I have. Those? And you know what? I, I'm all for the two sport, three yeah. sport. Just you're young. Play them all. Play them all. Maybe, maybe there's something to developing that kinesthetic movement. One applies to the other. I mean, if you're going to be the best athlete out there and go to the pros anyway, you're going to make it. Rodrigo Romero, third down and seven. He's been great so far tonight at quarterback. Oh, he's got Nice it. timing on the screen. This is Romero looking for the first down, getting it, and moving the stitch. Nice job on the nine-yard throw and catch. Yeah, they, they come with the full blitz. And Franco's able to get rid of that one right there to Romero. Perfect timing. He had plenty of space to run. Love how Romero runs and squares those shoulder pads to the line of scrimmage. Gets up field quickly. Yeah, he's solid. He he's he's not real tall, but he's solid. He's got big legs. He's strong. He's fast. And yeah. He's got great vision. And there's something too being able to run after the catch on a screen. You know, some great running backs can't do it that well. First and ten, South Garland. They continue to move the sticks here. Fake the counter. Got Throw him. it over the middle. Has Moreno for the second time tonight. Close to another South Garland Titan first down. Just a beautiful job with Franco realizing what we've got here. And I know the offensive coordinator is calling that, Carlos Barasio. He's saying, hey, they're leaving him wide open over there. Just look up and toss it to him. And yes. that's exactly what he did. What a great phrase and terrific analysis, Bobby. Realizing what we have, that's the key, Offside. and it's helping him so much. Defense number five. That penalty's declined. Result of the play, second down. Zaylen Reynolds that got called there, the senior outside backer. Watch him catch it, just boom, see it, throw it. <laughs> it's funny to watch a guy like Franco, the senior, uh, and you wonder, you know, he had 26 grabs earlier. That he had already totaled 26 before Jaden Holland got hurt. And now he's having to play quarterback. You wonder if that was even his first choice. But he has taken to it. And you can see even since the start of this game, how. Timeout. South Garland. First charge, timeout of the half. And we'll keep it right here. How much more comfortable he's getting at that quarterback position just from the start of this game. Yeah, I, I, that's why I say last game we watched him play. And he was, like, at the very beginning, pretty jittery. But mm -hmm. as time went on and he was running that RPO and keeping his eyes down the field, uh, if he had the whole year to have played quarterback, he would really be something else. Yeah, you know, Dem yeah. I know Damaso Martinez, the head coach for, for South Garland, would love to have Both a Franco at quarterback <laughs> yeah. and a Franco at wide receiver. Yeah. That's right. Uh, you don't have that option. But he's got enough parts around him here to where he's – quite proficient. I mean, he's done a really good job tonight. Uh, he's 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 gone deep when he's needed to, out of necessity to spread the defense out, and then he's getting the ball out quick, making good, quick reads on time. That's hard to do, particularly when you don't do it all the time. Franco here on the option, ran into his own guy. The room closed quickly. That window closed, and so he got taken down in the backfield in a hurry. 
uh, there by Ishmael Ball. Making stop for the Owls, Marion Webb. Yeah, number 22, 20, Marion Webb right there comes up to the linebacker spot. He grabs him quick. It's followed up by the remainder of that defense. That defense is very fast, and they got some big guys in there. Gonna roll him out here. He's got to hurry and get it to the sideline. It does so, and he got formed up. Did he get the first down? What a catch. They got it out quickly to Romero, who caught it, hung on, took a massive hit there by Onshwery. I mean, you talk about a textbook tackle, and somehow they'll get the first down or close to it. Franco put it on him, though. Put it right where he can catch it. Romero hangs on. That's a big play right there. That they got it. At, it. That gets you a first down inside the 15. That's that's pretty good. This is unofficially their 11th play of the drive that began with a minute to go in the first quarter. Linebackers are coming. Franco with a shovel. Great call. Uh -oh. This is Romero to the goal line. Oh, did he get it? Touchdown. Wow. I saw that in the pros this week. That was a great play they put in. They executed it. He sits under there, thinks Romero's going to run outside. The defense goes to Franco. Romero sets quietly, gets the pitch inside. That's really a pass. And scampers for the touchdown. Executed well. And even though the pressure has been on, Franco operating cool as a cucumber down there. They are not speeding him up. The left tackle move there, that was Moreno, but was he drawn off as a flag comes out? Well, they're gonna get the... Offsides on the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Replay the try. They're gonna go ahead and replay the try here. Although I didn't see the play stopped. I wonder if they had the option to decline that. Well, it was offsides on the defense, sure. so they want the... But generally, they don't stop the play for that. Well, let's see. Here's Rodriguez again, Joseph Rodriguez. Partially blocked, and they got enough of it. It's no good. So it does come back to bite them. The officials stopped it on the first point after. And it keeps it an eight-point game, 14-6, 9.45 to go in this second quarter on GRSTV. drive goes 69 yards and they do it in more than 10 plays and it takes close to three minutes off the clock here 14 6 in favor of garland after the missed point after this is a chance now for the owls here comes reynolds a cut outside they forced him in great technique and they stop him at the 45 yard line Usually a squib kick, your defense can get down there and make the tackle quick, but Reynolds makes a great play right there. He just does some slicing and dicing. Get some good blocking out there, and, and boy, it just made the Titans pay. Reynolds has great vision with the ball. Knows how to use blockers. Fun to watch him return kicks. Lendo Route will come back out as the quarterback now for the Owls. Hardy running back right next to him. Pressure, another screen. This is Norwood, the starting quarterback from a year ago, and they'll pick up five on this play. Again, that's that same bubble screen inside. Uh, the 
they scored on and they've thrown to uh, Norwood a couple of times on this already. They're going to keep doing it till they're able, till the Titans are able to stop it. That that time, number 31 comes in there and makes a good tackle, Wilkerson. But they're going to have to get in there real tight and real, and and play that a lot more aggressive. Route with a long count here. Yeah. And as a result, somebody moved. All start. Offense number 21. Five yard penalty. Still second down. That is Armando Orozco. Power, Hardy, slowed up. Rodeo, not once but twice. I think that might have been Burke that had him. And how about that? He had to hang on for dear life. That was Jariah Kaufman. Yeah, the freshman. A lot of freshmen out there playing and getting some great experience. He makes a great tackle, and he doesn't let go. you got to have some people come and help you. Big number 54, Del Real, comes in there and finishes him up, but great way to hold on. Sinclair Del Real doing a good job of rallying to the ball. This is his first year on varsity as we see route airmail one on an out moving to his left, trying to hit Jaden Norwood again. Well, it's set up a fourth down. So now that Titan defense has really done well the last two possessions. They've really held Garland, and they've not gotten a first down. It's interesting. It was good coverage there by Jaquias Green, and I'm wondering if that ball had been thrown on the money, if it would have even gotten completed anyway because Green was pressing over there. Did a really good job working on Norwood. Last time they lined up to punt, they ran a fake. They were ready for it. And this time, Orozco will get it away. It's high and wobbly. It's not returnable. Uh -oh. It will take a Titan bounce of about oh, 10 goodness. yards. Uh, they won't get much on the net here, about 15 yards. And the Titans will take over with 8.08 to go in the second quarter. And I guarantee you, if you ask Damaso Martinez, that Titan coaching staff, if he likes how these things transpired, he didn't like the start, but he likes probably the last 12 to 15 minutes of this game. Yeah, he talked to his defense coordinator and say, Hey, Coach Andrews uh, Davis, man, you've done a great job out there holding Garland's uh, offense two possessions in a row, timed a couple of blitzes on them, yeah. and now South Garland is set up again in good field position for Carlos De, uh, Bardicio, uh, Coach, uh, to be able to go out there and call some good offensive plays. They, they were playing. You can tell they're up here going, hey, Franco, this is going to be open. And then Franco's going out there and executing. I'm a little bit surprised how well the Titans have tackled in this game. Franco kept it, snowed under, a loss of one. Good job to get to the point of attack to knock him down shy of the line of scrimmage. Johnson, the first guy there. Yeah, it gets blown up immediately. If he doesn't uh, read that RPO, he's going to get sacked. Very quick, but again, big number 28, Anchuary, just everywhere, so fast and so strong. Big six foot, 190 pound linebacker, making it stop. Second and 11, Franco again rolling, spinning off of a hit. It's hard to bring him down on first contact. Picks up two, and Anchuary again. Well, they just slipped through. He just doesn't have very much time to sit back there and throw the ball. And you look out, he didn't have anyone to throw it to either. They, everybody was just blanketed by that speed of the Garland Owls. Moving the pocket has helped Franco for sure. Third down and nine. This time a bullet over the middle and picked off. It's intercepted. They threw it to the post. And I'm not sure they were expecting it, but O'Shea Johnson has his third pick now oh, you see right there it looked like his receiver stopped the route and I don't know if that was a miscommunication or not uh, but his receiver was running the post O'Shea Johnson on the coverage and his receiver just stopped and just kind of like set in the hole and uh, the pass was already out O'Shea Johnson able to slide under it, make that uh, that interception. Johnson almost had one earlier. This is Hardy. Hit hard to start. 
Still manages to fall forward to get three yards. It's a little lead block by number four. And then Benavidez, the defensive lineman right there, makes the stop. Second down route again the screen this is Davis spinning off the initial hit no one wrapped up then a nice tackle uh, but I guess who great stop right there by Rodrigo Romero they still managed the first down though yeah you're running back because playing safety there hmm. it's a good block just able to get free but boom <laughs> guess who Boy, Romero's a good football player. Man, everywhere. Isn't he playing offense, defense? Just line me up, coach. First and 10 from the 39. Hardy, boy, you talk about a burst. He's into the third level before you can blink. Picks up 14 more. Yeah, he had a great lane to run through. Look at this offensive blocking. Man, just an awesome block. A pancake block by big number 77 right there. Brandon Sierra, and uh, when you have that kind of blocking up there, you can get to the second level pretty quick. And the one thing that they like about Hardy is the fact that he might get stopped for two or three, but he can turn that into seven or eight because he can finish the runs. He gets yanked down from the back of the shoulder pads by Jariah Kaufman, who has made four tackles, but that's a run of nine for DeAdrian Hardy. Now that interception is really hurting. Uh, the Titans at this point because you know you had you had momentum going and uh, you turn it over inside your own 40 and now Garland's prowling for a touchdown here single coverage here to Davis who makes a move and he has the touchdown Woo. 18 yards on the throw and catch Davis did most of it with his feet Just nice, easy tosses out there. And look, one, two, three, four players. He just zigs and zags and zigs and zags till he gets into the end zone. Third touchdown pass tonight for Orlando Rout. He now has eight touchdowns and seven picks so far this year. Nice job by Keelan Davis, who's really explosive. He can make you miss after the catch. That's his specialty. He does so there to extend the lead back to two scores. Garland with a 21-6 lead here at Homer B. Johnson Stadium on GRS TV. Kicks off here at Homer B. Johnson Stadium after the touchdown pass. The Titans with a chance here on the return. Hogg, who doubles as a wide receiver, going the wrong way. Still. Still up. <laughs> he's still rolling across the 30. Made that, it exciting. That, that run may have lasted 40 <laughs> seconds. Hey, he'll take it. Let's count this thing. I mean, oh, big block right there. Some. I mean, he started going backwards there, and I tell you, that Garland Owl defense is just too fast. You have to be going upfield. But, man, he just kept going. It made it exciting. And DeMarcio Martinez talking to his group here. Offense will have it again. 4.40 to go right before halftime. I wonder if you, if you talk to Coach Martinez, if he might intimate that perhaps this is the most successful half of football they've had since maybe – uh, August, maybe early September when they beat R.L. Turner and Irving. They have really done well so far in this ballgame. The offensive line holding up now two as Franco throws it deep. 
and wide receiver turns DB as Michael Johnson tried to knock that ball away from uh, it looked like Miles, uh, Tyquez Miles, who almost had his second interception of the year. Yeah, but what a bomb right there. He has a little time, decides to go on up with it, and it looked like Johnson kind of stumbled, or maybe he would have had a chance to make that catch. He kind of stumbled right there and, and had to, to recover. It would have been Johnson's third catch of the year. Second down 10. Wow, what delay a delay. draw. Nice run here for Davies. Some fresh legs here for the Titans to the 40-yard line. Well, Gain of that, eight. That was the old 1980s uh, Dallas Cowboy <laughs> draw play. Look at this. I mean, that one was a draw, draw. I'm impressed with the detail work and the timing here by the Titans offense. Yeah, they, they look like they've been practicing hard, man. I mean, they've got it dialed in. How much of that is Franco? Third and two. Rolling here. Got him. He's wide open. Oh, oh pitch this is at the last moment. That's an underhand toss, so it should be an incomplete pass. Man, a little uh, improvisational skills being shown there. I don't want to say Pat Mahomes, but. He tried it. Here you go. Just wasn't expecting it. Not sure he would have got anywhere anyway, but. Franco learning how to extend the play. Fourth and two. 3.54 to go. You took less than a minute off the clock here. Franco's got a sidestep, a converging blocker, and get off an absolute rocket of a kick. What they the got a world? chance to stop this thing inside they do. the goal line. Got it on the, the What are you kidding? No way. You've got to be. Wow. That's 59 yards down it at the one. And, and, and I thought it was going to get blocked. He had no business getting that kickoff. Great presence right here to just not slide on it, but to toss it backwards. Beautiful. Look at this work. And how many times do you see someone trying to get it so close to the goal line that they, they actually slide, stay, in they slide in it? Yeah. But they have the presence of mind to kill that thing at the one. Boy, that was beautiful. Hey, and everybody that said, oh, they should have gone for it. They're on fourth and two. So, oh, that's how you do it. That's, how, that's <laughs> yeah, exactly that, what we should have exactly done. That's exactly what we meant to do. <laughs> Wow. Now you got to hold them. You've got a chance to really put them back. Keep it on the ground here. Really need the defense to rally to the ball. That's Kaufman again getting there and stuffing him after a gain of one. Kaufman being a freshman, you know, he's really, he's really kind of figuring it out a little bit. Really like him. He's uh, got a good head on his shoulders. Of a hundred freshmen, how many are playing varsity ball? I, would you suspect? You're right. Uh oh. Trap play. Had some room, but a really good job of running him down from behind. I guess there who? by Rodrigo Romero, your yeah. man. Got seven on that play, but yet still able to keep him from moving the sticks. I mean. Romero said, hey, I, I know I, I play running back, but, man, I really would like to play a little D right here. I'm tired of getting hit. Can I hit well, somebody? He can play D. There's no doubt about that. They're going to keep it on the ground to get the first down. This is Hardy to the edge. Got to get to him. Uh-oh. Slowed him up just enough for Wilkerson to get there, but they are well into Titan territory and another chunk play. Boy, that was that's a tough one right there if you're a Titan because you're down there on the one yard line and you let him get free. But Hardy, man, what, what a heck of a runner. He is so strong. And he's got some big offensive line just making lanes for him. So big time run right there. 54 yards. They're going to give somebody else a chance this time, and Norwood, who not only can play wide receiver, he'll, they'll hand him the ball occasionally on a fly sweep or two. Uh, this is a run of two. And how about Norwood? Norwood's kind of a do-it-all guy for them. Again, the starting quarterback last year for Garland, most experienced player on the team. And, you know, a lot of guys would, would pout if they're, they're not playing quarterback anymore, but uh, he's – Learned to be a team player, and uh, you know he had 57 carries coming into this ball game from uh, 
uh, a wide receiver position. And this time, a good play by the Titan defense to force a third down and long. Yeah, they Nor was just again he is their all-around athlete as well and he'll take that fly sweep and run it he's he's done that about 10 or 15 times and he'll he's their leading receiver he plays everywhere let me credit a uh, sack here for Kaufman Javion Kaufman be his first this is third down and long another tunnel screen it's their go-to play it's Norwood he's inside the 20 Norwood goal line touchdown 37 yards yeah we've called it earlier if you're not able to stop this thing they're going to keep running it and that tunnel screen has just been the number one play for Garland tonight Kias Green got beat to the edge there by Norwood, four against four. And Garland to try to expand this lead, and they do so. 28-6. Owls, a buck 35 to go in this first half on GRS TV. Six drives for the Garland Owls so far in the first half. They have four touchdowns. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives here for Garland, a team trying to lock up that fourth spot here in 9-6A. A win tonight would do that. They would go to 5-2 and two in district play. That time, a 37-yard touchdown pass from route to Norwood. This is a high kick. It's going to be taken there by Santiago Moreno, and uh, that is where the Titans will have it. But a win tonight would lock up that fourth position. They have the tiebreaker over Lakeview Centennial by virtue of that win against Lakeview earlier this year, 24 to 14. And Amaso Martinez and the Titans, uh, perhaps one of their better halves of the year, seeing the, the score not really tell the whole story here in the first 24 minutes. Yeah, there's been a couple of possessions for South Garland that, you know, they went 11 plays for that one touchdown and uh, about about seven or eight again, and they've used a lot of clock in that first first uh, half, uh, first quarter. Davies changing direction uh -oh. here. Does he has some room. Trying to turn the corner, shoved out of bounds. Nice seven, eight yard run for Davies before he gets pushed out there by Caden James. Sometimes your best defense is having your offense on the field for extended plays and extended time to keep that Garland Owl offense off the field because when they get on the field, they're dangerous. They are better than they have been throwing the ball more than they have been the last few years. That tunnel screen's been working for them tonight. Uh, that's been two out of their four touchdowns has been that tunnel screen. Second down and two, right guard moves here and they'll throw Last flags time. on it. Offense number 73, five yard penalty, still second down. Jesus Barron playing right guard, he's also a Backup center on this team. Pre snap penalties have kind of hurt the Titans in this first half. They really have. Uh, they've had some short yardage turn into long yardage on third and fourth down, and it's been it's hurt them. Lead play, Davies uh -oh. bounces. He had a block by Hogg on the edge and gets to the 47 yard line. 21 yards on the run there by Davies, who's kind of hobbling. 22 comes over there from safety and makes the, a saving tackle. Davies shows some his vision. He cuts back and he's trying to make a play there. I'm, I'm, looks like maybe he's got a hamstring. Franco telling guys who to block, where to. Oh, oh and he stands up and took a punishing hit there on the sideline by Zaylin Reynolds. Great blocks right there. Keeps his eyes down the field. Decides to take off running. 
Good balance. Boom. Reynolds takes him. Woo. Franco says, why did I do that? Me, why did I go down? I need to go on out of bounds there. <laughs> Second down and seven. Read option. They got some room. Coming Good outside. Block. Close to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down, in fact. That's a nice run. It's Joseph Rodriguez, I do believe. I beg your pardon, not Rodriguez, but timeout. Cameron McNeil. South Garland. Second charge, time out of the half. Stops the clock with 21 seconds. Cameron McNeil not being afraid to lower his hat. Yeah, it's his 22nd run of the season. You know, a lot of the a lot of the runs go to Romero and Ruben Davis. But when Romero goes to defense and Davis goes out of the game for a few minutes, you get your turn to make things happen. And he picks up a nice first down. We've got Romero, Davies, and McNeil. Let's see, McNeil may be the fastest kid in the program. There have been times this year where he's had a great week of practice and they'll give him some carries as a result and think of the week against North Garland, that game in which they had the lead but lost by three. How about a pitch play going to McNeil? They get him to the outside, get a block to the edge. He's quite a weapon as they get him to the wide side to allow him to try to turn the corner. They pick up five right there. Yeah, that pistol formation, that's the first time we've seen it tonight. He has a lead blocker by big number 28, Marino. You know what I like about Martinez's offense here? They they push the envelope to the edge where they're not predictable, but it's not too much for the kids to handle. That's yeah. hard to do. Well, it, it's tough to run this RPO that they've been trying to run, and they're doing it really well. Franco back across his body. It pays dividends. Nice catch, Flores picking up nine more and a first down. Timeout, South Garland. Their third and final timeout of the half. So seven seconds to go. They use the final one. Oh, get away with a little hold right there. But again, keeping his eyes down the field and making the tough throw. And they've had skill guys tonight like Romero, Flores, Moreno, Hogg. They're not afraid to make catches and take hits, making those catches in traffic. A lot of guys at this level won't do that. Yeah, the score is not indicating how well that offense has actually played. They've just not been able to get into the end zone, but they've kind of controlled the ball, you know, between the 40s. You know, Danny Russell, the head coach for the Owls, uh, he was very complimentary. He said they're really strong on the offensive side, not not as much on the defensive end. You know, they've given up a ton of points the last four or five weeks in the 40s most games, uh, but the offense is getting better and better. Pitch play to McNeil on first down. He goes down at the 20, and he stayed in bounds, which will effectively end the half. So he did not get out of bounds to give him a chance there. Uh, I know that's got to be a little bit disconcerting for Damaso Martinez. They won't allow Franco a chance at a long field goal, but nevertheless, the Garland Owls have it well in hand on the scoreboard, even though some great stuff coming from the Titan sideline in that first half. We'll take a break and we will continue. It is halftime at Homer B. Johnson Stadium. Garland with a 28-6 lead, looking to secure that fourth playoff spot out of 9-6A.
Homerby Johnson Stadium tonight as we get set for the second half of action between Garland and South Garland tonight. Thanks so much for being with us. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. And we got off to a rocket good start tonight. A lot of offense early. And there's two teams coming out to play. Senior night. Senior night. And how about the first play of the game? Joshua Lane. On a delay draw, goes off left tackle and is able to high step his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Way to start the game off right there. Just an amazing time <laughs> for his family, for friends, for the Titan community. That was awesome. Then we get back to action here. Uh, what a job. Uh, you know, the, the quarterback for Garland, Orlando Rout, had a really good first half. And uh, he showed off the arm, showed off the ability to find open targets and you saw Crathers here with his first touchdown of the game that made it a 14 nothing contest but south would bounce back nice shovel pass it went inside to romero and he puts it in the end zone for the fifth time this year that cut it to a one score game at that point 14 6 and then there was route to the edge what a move they go Right to Keelan Davis. And a big return in just a bit. And yeah. then they had Norwood that found the corner. Yeah, they were really using that little screen play. And boy, that, those passes were just going where they wanted them to. Route 9 of 10, 90. 170 yards, four touchdowns, and uh, Norwood was on the end of that. Three receptions, 66 yards, a touchdown. Keelan Davis, four receptions, 54 yards, and a touchdown. And then Grethers, that one reception for 40 yards and a touchdown. Uh, I, I mean, all his receivers have caught a, a touchdown tonight. Even Rodich with Route, a touchdown. Going to green for the first time into the third level across the 40 and down to around the 36-yard line. 27 for green. Boy, straight up the middle. Nice run. Green, by the way, had eight carries coming in, 31 yards. And good to see him get a touch. First down, fade route. Uh-oh, going Look up Look out, tall. safety a little bit late getting there, but just in time to break it up. They went high over the top for that one. A really nice job there by T.J. Wilkerson. Crethers. Uh, the intended receiver there, great safety play right there by Wilkerson coming over, using his speed, knocking that one away. Jay Crather's playing, uh, or Wilkerson, I should say, playing with uh, Alex Orta. I remember suffering that fracture earlier this year. That play goes for maybe one, possibly two. That's it. Yeah, Kaufman comes over and makes a quick stop. And then he gets finished up by the guy we've been saying all night is Del Rio. Boom. Just stop it right there. Sinclair Del Rio, first year on the varsity. Got a Movement free play. here. Yeah, going to be a free play. They're going to go to the end zone. Nice job by Route to recognize it. That ball is going to be caught in traffic. Yes. They're going to give it to Tyron Crothers. 
Man, what a catch. Goes up and high points that ball in traffic. Offsides, defense. That penalty's declined. First down. So Green and Crethers both with 27-yard grabs here on this drive. Right, right between traffic. Goes up high points that one. Can't draw it up any better. Route in the flat. Green, touchdown. So Terrence Green with a couple of big grabs on that drive. And after the penalty, and Garland making quick work, they score in five plays. Yeah, Route just patient, toss it out to the flat, and let Green do the rest. Point after. Perfect, as usual. 35-6 in favor of the Owls. They score in five plays to begin the second half on GRS-TV. Tyron Crothers catches his second touchdown of the night. And the Garland Owls with a 35 to six advantage with 10 and a half to play in this third quarter. Short kickoff Ooh. again here. This is Santiago Moreno. Moreno fighting to get to the 30 yard line. We were talking about Gar South Garland. You know, they, they had 10 first downs, 185 total yards, 80 in the air, and 105 on the ground. Uh, Franco, 6 of 15, 80 yards, a touchdown and an interception. He also ran the ball for 37 yards. Reuben Davis for 36 yards. McNeil, 23. Uh, you know, they, they had a pretty proficient offense with those 10 first downs. Three Penalties is all South Garland had to, has had today. Ramon Franco, they faked the quarterback counter. He's got a guy uh -oh. right in his face to start, and he gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage. So nothing doing there, just inexorable penetration. And uh, one of the first guys there was Gabriel Williams, who had 36 tackles coming in. That, that Garland Owl defense is really, really stout. You know, they've got four all-district players on the team on that defensive squad. This is a guy that's going to play on Saturdays, one would think. Number one D-lineman that they have, big recruit, powerful. This guy is hard to deal with. All-district player last year. You'd think he would be there again this year. Brought pressure off the edge. Good read to get it to Romero. Looking for a first. Ooh. He took a hit right in the mouth uh, there by Zaylin Reynolds. I think both those guys were going head hunting right there. Romero takes that catch. Again, Franco with patience, runs, waits till the linebackers come off of Frank, uh, Romero and toss it out there. Watch Romero, he ducks in too. Mm. They both take a huge collision right there at the sideline. Zaylin Reynolds, a guy that's never satisfied. He's always hungry. He's a, all, what, district. all district last yeah. year. Captain. Interesting player. This is a, a guy that uh, kind of leads the, the way at that linebacking core. It's a stretch handoff on third down. Uh, trying to go to off it? tackle. Needed two, and it looks like he got it. There you go. Get up back behind that big 71. Saw Jerigi, big sophomore, leading the way for him. You see Caleb Carcamo in there fighting. 
Parkman, one of the top three or four linebackers in the district. Just a tremendous kid. And been impressed with the timing of Ramon Franco and his ability to you know, lead this ball club. That's a great play running the alley as they get O'Shea Johnson, the safety, downhill to make a tackle at the point that, of attack. That's right. The, the coaches, uh, Coach Perry said he is the fastest player on their team, and he's coming downhill in a hurry. He's going to be a, a track star this summer. You would think one of the keys coming out of the locker room for this Garland defense is to get the ball out of Franco's hands. Second down, 10. Yeah, and you got to get it out there to his big receivers, Brown and Johnson. It's time, time for Franco underneath, and oh, he got clobbered. Zaylen Reynolds all over the place again, hitting Mariano Flores, who makes his third grab of the night, picks up five. There you go, just nice, patient. Set down in there, open your numbers up to Franco so he can see them. He puts them right on there. Flores maintains the grab. Reynolds came in with 27 stops. I think he's got seven tackles already in the game. Third and five, Franco to the edge. Uh-oh, he's in trouble. It closes quickly. Look out. He got rid of it. They're going to call it an incomplete pass. Yeah, but that's going to have to be a penalty, right? He runs back in. There's nobody. It doesn't get to the line of scrimmage. We had Brandon Sierra, the right tackle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see a flag. They're going to let it roll, I they guess. They are going to let it roll. Scott Davis, the head official, says, nah. Yeah, he's right inside the tackle box and never makes it. That, that's definitely a intentional grounding right there. He gets away with one. It's got to be in the area of a wide receiver, and it has to pass the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure if it passed muster on either of those. But Franco's going to kick it away, maybe. Talk about patience. Man. And he's got a leg on him. I mean. Hey, he drilled one almost 60 yards earlier and killed it at the one. One. That one right there was 55 in the air. He does that little rugby style. Yes. I think he's got a future somewhere on Saturday just as a kicker. Yeah, you know, you get that rugby style kick. It's, look at this. How what? about that patience? Just zinged it down there, in the air, land on the one. I think it comes off his, off his foot like a cannon, man. It's left, left footed too, so you're yeah. not, not used to it. It's hard to block. Well, they need to put him down as another spot on his position as punter. <laughs> we got QB, DB, wide receiver, kicker, and punter. Route might have had his arm hit as uh, we see Davis coming back for that ball. It goes incomplete. Yeah, Benavidez, I think, go, gets a gets a hand on it. Round, by the way, at 63% completion percentage coming in. Five touchdowns, seven picks. But that has changed tonight. He's got, uh, what, five touchdown tosses in the game. So that puts him at 10 to 7 on the TD to interception ratio. But of the interceptions, probably four of those, they estimate, not his fault. So uh, those numbers can be deceiving as on second down in 10. They keep it on the ground and run for 17 yards and pick up the first down. Terrence Green, number two running back. Yeah, there we go. Here he's running through the sideways. Then all of a sudden he just takes it straight up the field. <laughs> Look at that. There's fight and determination. Remember, it was Hardy two drives ago going back to that first half that ripped off a 54-yard jaunt. They're giving Terrence Green some time here. Up 35 to six. O'Shea over the middle to the corner and Dickens quit running. It goes incomplete. Yeah, they had a whistle blow right at, as the ball was snapped. Ball start, offense number 19. Five yard penalty, still first down. So Danny Russell though, his squad being tested this year, they. Four weeks ago, took on Wiley East, lost that game 28-17, didn't really play well, beat Naaman 24-14, and then faced Saxe 
and lost to Saxe. Garland did 57 to 24 and just did not play well. Just two games where you can just kind of toss out. Uh, certainly want to watch tape, but uh, they weren't themselves on either of those two nights as Norwood makes the catch on the curl on a first and 15 and gets the penalty yardage back and then some close to nine yards. Yeah, Garland's had a couple of tough games. You know, they they go Saxe, they lose 57 to 24 to Saxe. They lose to Wiley East 28-17. In the middle there, they do dominate Naaman. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they have a game here south that they're doing pretty well with. And then they're going to have to finish it out against, um, let's see, Wiley. So, uh, they're, they're, they're going to have to, uh-oh. Ball tipped and picked. This is Anaveros Ruben Anaveros with his first interception of the year. And the Titans come up with a turnover. Bingo. That's what they say there. Yeah, it just gets tipped out of the receiver's hands. And look what I found. So South Garland will come up. And uh, that's Sonaveros, 43 tackles last year, hard hitter. Uh, this is a guy that does a really good job. He had a great game against North Garland, too. A lot of backside tackles for him earlier this year in that ball game. But uh, the Titans of North Garland will run the counter, trying to slip the first guy. They do so with McNeil, who, again, is a speed bag. And McNeil able to run close to eight, nine yards on that. Boy, aren't you worried? That linebacker, he gets there in a hurry, doesn't he? He does. Man, six foot, 190 pounds, sophomore. You can see he's thick. Watch him just speed demon right across there and make that tackle. And that's not a slow running back. Uh, no, that's one of their fastest guys on the team. Maybe the fastest. Yeah, McNeil can really, really turn it on. And He's kind of a, th this is what they like to do with him. Uh -oh. This time that pitch goes behind him. Bad toss by Franco on the deck. And somehow South Garland retains the possession. How did big old Brandon Sierra get over <laughs> there? Uh, he's sitting there blocking on the edge and all of a sudden the ball's loose. Boom, I'm getting down on it, he said. Great awareness, big man. Hey, he's used to scooping those balls out of the dirt on the baseball diamond. And he's accustomed to stuff like that. Fast reflexes. Guess so. Third and ten. Got to be four down territory, I would think. They run a twist in the middle. Bullet pass. Nobody home. Flora is the intended target. He's lucky that ball wasn't picked. I tell you, that's the first time I've seen Franco have all day to throw it. His, his receiver kind of stopped right there. I think he was thinking he was going to cut across yeah. in a dig route. And his receiver just hooked up. You know, and had they gotten anything on that third down play, they might think about going for it. But I think Franco. Let's see if he can put it in the end zone again. Hey, he may be better served getting some tape for the next <laughs> level than hey, putting a couple balls away here. You better watch him. He will take off and run, too. If nobody comes after him, he's gone. Let's just see how fast Manuel Vera got out there. Late getting on, but man. Yeah, I don't think they have enough time to start it. It's zero on the clock. That's going to be a delay of game. That may be by design, Franco style. Give him a little more time room. Up. South Garland. Oh, oh they first yard time out of half. Okay. So why do they throw a flag? I don't know. That's a good question. But Garland with a 35-6 lead, a win tonight would secure a fourth him. place position. Uh, in 9-6-A, and you see the standings here with Garland looking at a 4-2 and two record that would go to 5-2. and two. But it's Saxe, Wiley East, and Wiley, all three of those teams that have managed to win at least five games. And again, that fight only remains with that final playoff position, and a win tonight would shut Lakeview out of a potential fourth playoff spot for them. So uh, it's relatively secure at this point. Yeah, now Garland does play Wally for the very last game of their season. Now that's going to be a really good game to just, even if it doesn't mean a lot, it's going to be one of those games that you're going to think, hey, this is a preparation game for the playoffs. And it could potentially change the playoff opponent. Franco getting off another bullet. Returnable. Woo. Well, they are spinning and swimming down there with each and every return. And good return there for Terrence Green.
I don't know that we've seen many better uh, punters that have been better than Franco tonight, though. That was a bullet again. I, I mean, it, it went all the way to the three-yard line. Another 50-yard bomb. 401 to go in the ball game. But the one thing that we need to mention is Saxe again, first place right now, 6-0, six 6-2. And oh, six and uh, their overall record, and you mentioned a couple of good contests coming up. Uh, later on this week, in fact, tomorrow night, uh, Saxe at Wiley, Wiley East and Lakeview, and Naaman at North Garland. Just a yard right here for Jaden Norwood. Del Real making a big stop again. He's just been all over the field tonight. You know, and he's a big time power lifter too. At Del Real, Sinclair Del Real, 22 stops coming in, 10 for a loss. Uh, that's pretty impressive. They go back to that tunnel. That's that tunnel screen that uh, they had run not once but twice. Two touchdowns out of it. A couple of touchdowns yeah. uh, yep, out of that. Th this time they go to Caleb Ibanami. It's just a nice no look. Route looks one way, throws it the other. And uh, they just, South just really hasn't had a lot of answers for that, that screenplay. Linebackers have to be really aggressive and vigilant. First down and 10, another screen this time. Norwood tackled immediately. Hey, Rodrigo Romero picking up his fifth tackle. Playing out there outside, linebacker. Yeah. Making things happen. Hey, you had uh, running back and quarterback over there, Ramon Franco. <laughs> that is uh, right. That's that, exactly right. That both stop. of them. Franco's playing corner. Route downfield on a deep cross. Oh, and it man. goes incomplete and a dangerous play there for Rodich, who yeah. caught a touchdown earlier. Yeah, you never like seeing that. There's a lot of metal and stuff down there and. Looks like he went into head first into it. Like a rodeo barrier down there. Mm. Uh, Took out a trash can. I don't know that uh, <laughs> Brandon Sierra was giving much uh, of an air. He just threw the helmet at him, said, hey, have a little of this. Yeah. If he had jumped in that thing, he might have got fined. <laughs> That's true. Uh, third down and nine. Route, draw. Looking for a first, ooh, Green got hit hard. And he's still on his feet looking for a first down, but he's going to be a couple of yards shy. Boy, Kaufman, I mean, he just came up and laid the wood right there. Big collision. Draw play again, as we saw a couple of times tonight. I think Kaufman might have caught him. He kind of got run over that time. <laughs> Romero again on the tackle. Hey, that kid is an athlete, man. He's just aggressive, loves to play football. Offense, wherever you want me, coach, I'm playing, right? Fourth and two inside Buck Got sweep, him. and they did and who sniff gets it out. him? Big number 22 chases him down from the defensive end spot. Norwood taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Nice play there, Rodrigo Romero. Turnover on downs, uh, what, third time they forced that tonight? What a game he's having. Both on the offensive side and defensive side of the ball. Rodrigo Romero. And not a flashy guy, but been really impressed with his ability to do the detail work. I love his run after the catch on those screens. He had a 48-yard run after the catch against uh, R.L. Turner earlier this year, where he, he made one cut and then got upfield. That that's what that's what makes the screen work go too. Play action over the middle. Oh, oh, tipped and almost picked off. That was Roberts. Yeah, Jarvis Roberts just lifts his hands up right there in the middle. Just about sticky fingers that one. Mm. They really haven't been able to complete that pass over the middle. They've tried it four or five times. Yeah. It's just 
not been able to connect it. He's really done well when he's connected, when he rolls out and throws that little down the sideline pass. You know, that linebacking core is so good. They get their hands up. They know where it's going. Uh, this time they go to the edge. Good catch by Flores, who gets taken down almost as quickly as he caught it. They pick up seven. It's going to be third down and three. Nice patience. That's where they, they've been real successful is tossing it out to the sideline. Let Franco kind of move around and just find his receivers over there. He's got a lot of room to the left to, to get outside and throw here. They'll rush four here on a delayed over the middle. Ball is caught right at the first. No, it's dropped. I beg your pardon. Moreno had to go in and out of his hands. Fourth down and three. Yeah, you see right there over the middle, it's just not, it's just not happened uh, as what they wanted. I mean, that would have been a good completion for a first down if they could have gotten it, but they just had, haven't had that good luck right there in the middle of the field. Boy, that box is tight. Oh, they got moved. Yeah, left guard moved again. Mm, Third time for Saul Jaraguay. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. When you, when, again, it's it's the short distant plays that Ball start. get you. Offense. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. That changes it from going for it to having to punt it. Which is not necessarily a bad thing for South Garland sometimes. Ramon Franco pinned him at the one earlier in that first half. 48 seconds to go in the third. At this point, though, you're on the 40-yard line. I, I'm going for it no matter what. I, I think you've got time and... Well, let's, what's Franco going to do here? He'll pooch punt it. There you go. It's like a pass. And that ball is killed at the 24-yard line. Yeah, I'm not sure why why he touched that ball. That ball had a potential to just drop around and yeah. roll to about the 10. Maybe, just, maybe he thought it was a pass. Could have been. Uh, he had plenty of time to do it. I'm surprised at this point he didn't pass. He just wanted to barely pooch kick that. Look at that. It would have rolled. It looked like Onaveros thought it was an out route. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice if he would have thrown it. That would have been really sneaky. That's funny. Pitch play. Toss sweep. Uh -oh. Here goes Terrence Green. Look out. Can uh -oh. he get there? He's Down fast. the sideline and lost his balance a little bit. Goes out of bounds inside the 35. Hey, yeah, just a little pitch to Green. And it's just wide open in there. Makes one guy miss, and then he's just fast. He's going to outrun people. Seen some long runs tonight. That goes for 42. And a 54-yard one by Hardy earlier in the game. There Another screen again to Davis. Tackled it around the 26. Yeah, Dry Kaufman, he sniffed that one out. He's seen it over and over and over, and this time he put a stop to it. That ends the third quarter. Garland with a 35-6 advantage over South tonight. Senior night, final game of the year for the Titans on GRS TV. Five, six, our score. Garland with the advantage here as we go to the fourth quarter of action. And the Garland Owls trying to tack on here. They've got five passing touchdowns in the game. Route will pitch it to Norwood this time. 
Second down and one. That picks up enough to move the sticks. <laughs> and you see Ramon Franco out there playing defensive back. And, huh. and let's see what happens to him. Let's see. Let's see. Coming up. Uh-oh, who's tackle there? Oh, number nine. That'd be Franco. Who's listed as a backup safety. But he has played, let's see, safety, wide receiver, punter, H-back this year. Kicker. Kicker, thank you. Kicker, place kicker. Yeah. Route. Oh. Stop route. Goes incomplete again. Davis hit by Franco. Jarred the ball loose. Yeah, he reads it very nice. Just goes right over the top and knocks that ball out of there. Second down, 10 now for the Owls. But no, we were talking about the district standings earlier. Saxy 6 and 0. That Saxy team, not only are they big, but Bobby, they're getting better every week. Big yeah. hole here for Green. Looking for the end zone, and he's got He's got the 21 yard touchdown run. Yeah, it's nice to be peaking at the right time of the season. It looks like the Owls are peaking, Saxy's peaking. Uh, it's it's going to be fun to watch them in the playoffs. Terrence Green with his first rushing touchdown of the year. Well, they are just – the Owls are just putting on a clinic on how to run the ball and run screen plays. Yeah, and working on a lot of this stuff. And they've – talk about keeping it simple. They've kept it simple. 100, 192 yards rushing. So far, remember 54 of those came on one play. They've had a couple of big chunk runs. The hardy 54 yard run drive right before the end of the half. Yeah, Terrence Green's got two, uh, three uh, uh, carries for 65 yards. He's averaging 20 yards a carry yeah, it's and, a, and a touchdown. It's unbelievable. Hey, and by the way, that, that 54 yard run by Hardy. That was when he, they were pinned inside their own tent. That capped a 99-yard 99 drive. 99-yard, there you go. That's exactly right. Big-time drive right there. And that's that just kind of, I don't know, it, it changes your attitude when you're out there playing defense and you get driven on a 99-yarder like that. And boy, that, that, that Garland team right now is really looking good. And I, I – could be wrong, but I believe nine, I think nine 6A plays 10 6A uh, come postseason play round one of the, in the uh, by district round. And this will go in and out of the end zone. And, uh, that would be the, that's the Rockwall district, Rockwall, Mesquite Horn. Rockwall Heath, Mesquite, all those teams, Roy City, Legacy, and uh, North Forney, that, that's the 10 6 district. That's right. And on top of that district, Rockwall's 4 0, North Forney 3 1, Rockwall Heath is 3 1, and uh, Tyler Legacy is 3 1. So the usual suspects. Yeah, that, that'll be their four teams for sure. Everybody else is uh, 0 and 5, 1 and 4, 1 and 3. Uh, so that'll be their four teams. That's who we will end up matching up with. Oh, Franco slammed down that time. I mean, yanked hard. On Schwery. Beg your pardon, that was uh, Caden Flowers that time. Woo, nice tackle. He pulled him down in a hurry. That throw goes off the helmet of a lineman. I think that might be illegal touching. But <laughs> we've seen some infractions go by the wayside tonight, Bobby. I want to get a replay of that. <laughs> they cannot comes. hit an offensive lineman. Who said? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, if it does, <laughs> it will be an infraction. <laughs> I think that did, that did that not hit the back of uh, Jesus Barron's helmet, 73? Yeah, sure did. Third down and nine. 
Oh, got him. On a deep dig, ball is caught. Nice catch on the dig route there by Mariano Flores. Pick up a first down at a gain of 13. Little pump fake right there. He has plenty of time. Good, good uh, blocking up front. Great coverage by the defense. Just a nice catch and, and uh, that's it. Give over here to Romero. Oh, he got hit hard. I mean, up high, and that's helmet to helmet, and that's why the flag comes out. Zaylen Reynolds uh, may suffer a targeting foul. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because both teams, both runners are, you know, running and ducking their head trying to hit each other. It wasn't like, it wasn't like the running back was, you know, not expecting a hit. Line judge is Dave Larson. The F stands for field judge. That's Bill Dixon talking with the white hat, Scott Davis. It's crew out of the Dallas chapter. A lot of times they'll call these helmet to helmets when you're a defenseless receiver. But they are, it is helmet to helmet. You want to protect each other. Remember, if he gets ejected tonight, he'll have to sit, sit the out. first half next week. Yeah. Personal foul, targeting. Number five of the defense. By rule, that is a non-flagrant targeting. Number five can remain in the game. Oh, first you. down. Boy, that's fortunate there. It is, and, but you know, you got to protect these guys. I mean, it's a, it's a rough, violent game as it is. And uh, you just got to protect them any way you can. But I'm with him. It, it wasn't like he targeted trying to hit a, a, a defenseless receiver or something. Romero with some acceleration getting to the edge. Taken down there by Jonah Hernandez. Pick up a four, maybe five. Nice little pump fake, draw play. Hernandez makes a good stop. Second down six. Blitz is coming. Blitz and the running back Romero picks it up. It's be Flag coming out, maybe a hold. Franco continuing to show some speed. Look at the athleticism here. Another flag coming in. Yeah, they're going to call. Got there, Bobby. They're going to call a holding, but I didn't see the hold. It looked that like Sierra, seventy-seven. Number seventy-seven, but it looked like the defensive guy comes in, loses his balance, and he just lays on top of him. There's two fouls on the play, both on the offense. Block in the back, decline. Holding, offense number 77. It's 10 yards in the previous spot, replay second down. You can see it here, 77 right there. He just falls down. I didn't see any grabbing or anything. He just laid right on top of his guy. Unfortunate call right there. Didn't see the block in the back. It might have been right there, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jordan, they could have got that one. Yeah, they could have gotten sure. that. Screen. Screen. Oh, nice catch there by Romero, one-handed. Looking for a first down. Oh, taking a hit. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Romero and Franco, you talk about a nucleus to build a team around. They are winners, Bobby. They are They are going to – they are tough now. Yeah, that's a nice little one-handed catch. Boy, he gets downfield in a hurry. That Garland team, they're fast. They get there in a hurry as well. And when they meet you, you know, you know you've it. been met. Yes, you do. Eight and a half. He just throws them to the ground. Oh, my goodness. Well, that Garland defense, you, you got to know what you're going to be doing. It's, it's hard to be just scrambling around against that defense. They're just fast. Third and ten. Oh. <laughs> Not much space. Whatever the opposite of not much space is, that was it. Well, you know, they ran that play earlier and, and scored the touchdown on it. You see? He's going to sit right there. But Roberts has seen it already, and uh, he, he learned from it. That, that's why yeah. a smart players on smart teams can, can really uh, benefit, man. It, it is just great to watch them. They've seen it once. 
and they go out and don't let it happen again. All of the Garland defenders get there with an attitude. <laughs> it seems that way, don't it? They play it really well tonight. We're going to punt here on fourth and 11. Nobody deep to receive. You think Just how Franco likes it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure he's going to punt it. We'll see. Yeah, oh, yeah, decided to punt. How does he get that thing off? That's pretty amazing. He's got a lot of touch on his ball, man, when he <laughs> kicks it. I mean, he wanted to throw that. He was just going to see if anybody was open. And he kind of scrambled to the line of scrimmage, and then nobody was there, and he punted it. He did look disappointed that he had to kick it. Yeah. Half these guys are going both ways. It's pretty amazing to watch them. Yeah, they, they don't ever come off the field. No. Exhausting. And by the way, Garland's got five touchdown passes tonight. Route to Rodich to start us. 38-yard touchdown pass to Crothers. He had an 18-yard touchdown pass to Davis. 37 yards to Norwood to end the half. Yeah, they love that little screen pass. It's been working for them. And do it again here. And you get maybe two, possibly three. Not a whole lot there for Hughes. But then you had the 15-yard touchdown pass to Crothers and the 21-yard touchdown run. Again, the draw and again the C's part for Jether Hughes, who runs for another 12. They'll roll the clock inside of six minutes. Boy, the offensive line is just absolutely blowing the Titans off the ball here. Yeah, I mean, again, we, we just said that the Titans are going both ways. And uh, most of these guys are just getting exhausted. And, and Garland's not having to do that right now. They've got guys on offense and guys on defense, and that's how it's rolling for them. And they're a little more fresh. Andrew Wynn on that last carry for nine. Route on the edge. On the screen, pick up the first down. Seven, eight more here. Yeah, keep that clock rolling. I mean, really, Garland's done an outstanding job. They're up to 490 yards total offense tonight with 18 first downs. 240 yards passing, 250 yards on the ground. Mm. They've really dominated that front. Mondo Orozco, I believe, the uh, ball carrier here. And picks up three, maybe four. Not a whole lot. Uh, Jether Hughes, I should say. Jether Hughes. Yeah, Mark Virgin's on the, on the tackle, man. Just heads up tackle right there. Solo by himself. Second down and seven. Route 18 of 22, 72% tonight. Wow, only missed three passes tonight. Hey, at one point, he had a touchdown every other toss. Look at this move. Nice job run. Getting into the second, third level for Blake Grant. Everybody's getting, uh-oh, here comes a fight. Well, they're getting after it, too. Yeah, sometimes that happens when you, you know, time's getting down to three minutes, 50 seconds left of the of the game. And a lot of these guys know that it's the last time they'll be on the field. Like Hansel Galdamas might have been one of them. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number 71 of the offense. By rule, that player's disqualified. So 
Saul Jaraguay, who's had kind of a frustrating night. He's been flagged at least three times on false starts tonight. Wait. I think he said offense and meant defense. Okay. Yeah, I never saw where it started, but. They had to get a substitution in there. He might have been uh, talking about Miguel Velasquez. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. It was the offensive lineman. I think he was in there uh, tangled up with um, number 80 for South. Yeah, Gonz Galdamas. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what happened. And then uh, they found out that Val Velasquez was the, the culprit and tossed him. That's going to be a big loss for them. He's their main, he's one of their big offensive linemen for next week against uh, against Wiley. And they try to set a hard edge with Caleb Ibanami across the 35 and down to around the 33 yard line. Well, Sophomore up tight end. A lot end. of yards on that one. Yep. Just was able to get through that edge. I mean, look at that seal block right there. That's nice. And then big time blocking downfield. Adam Martinez. Rodich. Rodich, Adam Martinez, the last guy to get there defensively. Third down and four. Route, high snap, on the ground, hard hit. Good play down down low by Mark Virgins that time. Yeah, it was second, second big tackle by big number three. You know, we haven't seen him all game, but, boy, they might needed to put him in a little earlier. And he's making some good sticks. Stick on Andrew Wynn that time, fourth down and one. Roll inside of two minutes. They're just trying to run the clock out here. Lead play, broke a tackle. He wanted the end zone on that run and gets tripped up. That was Jether Hughes. A run of close to 19. Nice little trap block right there. That's a nice runner room. 16 saves the touchdown. Yeah, Adam Martinez saved a touchdown on that, that tackle. I think we've got an injured player in the center of the field here. We'll take a break and we will continue here at Homer B. Johnson Stadium. A minute 40 to go, 42-6. Garland on GRS-TV. Two six, Garland trying to put this thing away. They've got it on ice, and they're going to go ahead and take victory formation and uh, roll with it here. On first down, that will do it. They take the knee, and the Garland Owls with the win tonight. It'll go to five and two in district. They will have locked up that fourth place in nine six a. They're now six and three overall, and Danny Russell has to be pleased with. Uh, where his ball club is. It's where he expected them to be. The uh, season's kind of gone along. They had to fight through some injuries. Yeah, I mean, when your offense is able to put up 550 total yards on mm -hmm. any team, that's that's really doing efficient ball ball handling yeah. right there. Yeah, they, they didn't turn it over. They didn't want to say, you know, if we, don't, if we can not turn the ball over, things will go well. Uh, their number one goal was just to, to make the playoffs, and then you go from there. And, uh, yeah, it looks like everybody is injury free tonight. Yep. And they 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 escaped that. Now they lost their big offensive lineman for a half they for did. next week's game. Uh, big number seventy one for unsportsmanlike conduct. But after outside of that, they came out with a real uh, good game 
and they executed tonight. They did. Uh, it was a tight game, a lot tighter than we thought it would be for a lot longer than we thought it would be. It was a one-score game as South Garland really fought in that first half, maybe their best half of play all year. And that's what you want. You want a team that just continues to improve. And Damaso Martinez has to be proud of this 2023 group because they played really hard tonight and really well. Yeah, they never I gave up at no, all. I thought no. they played well too. I, I agree. 42-6, the final score. Garland wins it tonight on senior night at Homer B. Johnson Stadium. For Delbert Richardson and the entire GRS TV crew, uh, we thank you so much for joining us tonight. Bobby George, thank you. My name is Scott Garner. Until next time, good evening, everyone. Good night from HBJ, and God bless.